the UConn football team fell to Maryland 32 to 21 in their second game of the season. A late Shaquem Phillips touchdown put the Huskies within 11 in the fourth quarter, but the offensive surge came too late for the Huskies to overcome their deficit. Team's down a little bit, but we still we still have we still have faith in the season, and we're going to bounce back. We worked real hard, and uh, you know we're kind of disappointed right now. So you know all we can really do is just you know just go back. We got practice tomorrow. You know just turn the page and just look forward to Michigan. So can't really dwell on it too long. You know I felt like we had a lot you know a lot more energy tonight. Um, you know we just kept going one more series. You know just focus on the next series. So I think uh, you know we we're a lot more dialed a lot more dialed in. You know we you know everybody was up. You know obviously you know you had stuff you can't control with the hype. You know Coach Hatsu coming back, but. Uh, you know, it was, a, it was a different type of team I thought we had you know, today, but we, we just came up short today. I felt like we had a chance the whole way through. I, it wasn't really no point in time where I was like, all right, there ain't no way we can come back. We was always in it, and I felt as a team, we, we felt like we was always in it. We was on the sideline trying to keep each other up. It was just a tough loss. You know, Shaq's touchdown at the end was really big, gave us a chance to come back. But, um, you know, we just got to, sting, we got to string some more drives together where we can get the offense off the field and get our offense back on the field. So um, we just got to, you know, pick it up a little bit on our part more. The defense, and they came up with plenty of stops. We just wasn't able to capitalize on most of them. But it's a great feeling. T-Mac had a, a great interception. It was a great interception to force fumbles. So it, get, it gets your team hyped up to go on the field. I was getting blocked. I uh, saw the screen. It was trying to come off on the screen. And then uh, the ball got tipped, and I tried to just go out and make a play, and then the rest is, you know, kind of history. Amazing catch. I mean, I don't know how he did that. <laughs> what we're tr really trying to do is, you know, keep the keep a spark, you know, a nice little light under for the team, you know, keep our, keep the energy up. So whatever we can do, whether it's, you know, fumble, interception, whatever type of turnover we can come up with, you know, we're elated whenever we can get it. So, um, you know, I'm going to try and do my part. I know the secondary, we're all trying to do our part. So, you know, whenever we get one, we're all, we're all going to be excited, and hopefully it'll turn into, you know, some points from the offense. Um, I feel like we did a lot of little things right today, but there's still things we got to correct, and that's what we're going to go in the film room this week and, and get them corrected and be ready for Michigan. But we're going to come back, play Michigan Saturday, so it's a new week. I played in my freshman year, so it'll be good to, you know, play them again here in the rent, and I'm um, hoping everybody else comes out. You know, we're excited. We're going to keep working hard and, uh, you know, come out to the rent. We'll be, you know, put, a, put on a good show. The ranked opponents, it's going to be, it's gonna be a um, good atmosphere around here. I heard the, that it's sold out, so we're going to be ready to go. Next up, the Huskies will take on Michigan here at the rent, Saturday, September 21st at 8 p.m. Reporting from Rentschler Field, this is Emily Noonan for Huskies All Access.